teacher and her pen. Welcome to day 24. Let's get on with a few problems. Okay, so here's question one. What is the angle between the hands of a clock at 4.20pm? So it's not a trick question, there is a difference. But what is the angle between the hands of a clock at 4.20pm? Press pause and have a go. Okay, so did you get it? So, at 4.20pm, we know it's 5, 10, 15, 20, so the big hand would be there. But the little hand isn't exactly on 4 o'clock, it's moved on a little bit, hasn't it? So that's the angle that I'm talking about. So if you didn't get it first time, could you pause the video and have another go? So, did you get the answer of 10 degrees? I'll show you why. The whole circle is 360 degrees. And if we divide that by 12 hours, what's 360 divided by 12? Yeah, that's 30 degrees. So every little part is worth 30 degrees. And if you've gone on 20 minutes, that's one third of an hour, isn't it? A third of an hour. So if it's a third of 30 degrees, the answer is 10 degrees. So well done if you got that answer. Here's question two. Can you see the theme today? A wall clock with hour marks but no numbers shows the time at half past ten. If the clock is seen reflected in a vertical mirror, so I mean a mirror line here and reflected over, what time would it appear to show? So we've got a clock here and it shows the time at half past ten. If the clock seen reflected in a vertical mirror, what time would it appear to show? Press pause and have a go. Okay, so did you get the answer of this? So if you were to draw it, it would look like this and this is 1.30, so half past one. It wasn't half past two because it's only gone past the one, so it was half past one. one thirty. Well done if you got that right. And this one's for big boys and girls. Okay, and on to the last problem. Granny says, I'm 84 years old, but not counting my Sundays. So how old is she really? Granny says, I'm 84 years old, but not counting Sundays. So how old is she really? Press pause and have a go. Okay, so did you get the answer of 98? So I'll show you how I got it. So actually, six out of every seven of the days, so this is my week, six out of every seven days makes her 84. So it's quite easy. If we go 84 divided into six bits, which would be 14. So if I had 14 in every part, then the seventh one had to be 14 as well. So if you add 14 onto here, you end up with 98. So it wasn't quite as tricky as it looked. Well done if you got it right. 